My name is Tom, and in this video I'm going to show you how to find the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment in three dimensions. So to do this well, the first step is, and I'll visualize the process for you, we'll be, have the option of just applying the midpoint formula, the 3D version of that formula. So let's write that down so you have it available to you. It has the following appearance. Okay, so the coordinates of the midpoint are x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, z1 plus z2 over 2. Clearly you can tell from the appearance of this formula that these are just averages. It's the average of the x's, the average of the y's, and then the average of the z's. Okay? And what you are given usually is a point such as x1, y1, z1, and then p2, which is x2, y2 and then z2 okay so you have two points you've been given you apply this formula and it tells you the midpoint of the segment now whenever you're studying you should really continually be reviewing material so it doesn't seem stale okay so that you keep your uh, knowledge up to date so let's take a look at a simple exercise. Let's take a look at a picture of a 3D coordinate system. That is something you should always be reviewing anyway, because we live in a three-dimensional world. So you know how do they do those previews for movies that say in a world? They should say in a three-dimensional world. <laughs> All right, now. This is what I'm drawing here is the coordinate space. These will be our x, y, and z axes. And then within this system, we will draw coordinate, <coughs> a little line segment. So first, let's mark up the axes. And here, you want to keep the spacing very uniform along the axes so as not to distort things. OK, so that's the spacing on the positive z axis. So label it positive z, put an arrow, label this one here as positive x, arrow, this one of course is positive y, so that's that, label with dots, because we live in a three dimensional world, so we have this, we have this, 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 and this, okay, these are our divisions of the axes. Now let's introduce a specific point and another specific point. So say P1 is 1, 2, and 3. And P2, which I will write in the light blue here. I love this color. I love this blue. That is 2, Four and five. Okay. So what we want to do now is find the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment joining these two. And we know we have to use this, the averages of the x, y, and z. This is our three-dimensional coordinate system. Remember, when you are studying, I suggest continually review previously learned material. Or you will forget, and then you might panic a little when it's test time. Okay, so for yourself, you do this for yourself, continually review material. So P1, let's take a look at P1. We have the following, 1, 2, 3. So 1 along X, 2 along y and then 3 along z so roughly we are here okay 
let's label this point 1 comma 2 comma 3 and this is all happening within what we call the first octant because x y and z are positive okay. let's label the second point so now x is 2 so 2 along x 4 along y so that's roughly here and then 5 along z so maybe maybe down here okay now once we have the two points plotted what do we do next of course we connect with a segment like this this is our 3d segment and we want to find two four five we want the coordinates of the midpoint okay which is of course the point located right here Okay, so let's do that right now. We apply this formula, which is just you know, an application of averages, nothing else. Well, to do this well, you have to identify x1, x2, y1, y2, and z1 and z2. So that's the first step. So you identify this is your x1, this is your y1, and this is your z1. And then you identify this is your x2, this is your y2, and this is your z2. Okay? Now we plug in as follows. And I'll do that calculation on the bottom here in the space. So let's see what we have. We have 1 plus, and I'll do this carefully because this can get a little. <clears throat> nuts. Okay, so 1 plus 2 over 2 because you're just taking the average of those two, okay? Next step, we have 2 plus 4 over 2 and at the last step we have 3 plus 5 over 2 and of course I meant that to be black so this is the setup color coded okay so that you can see the difference between P1 and P2 those two points so 1 2 and 3 are coming from the first point 2 4 and 5 are coming from the second point you're averaging them out so let's simplify this Okay, so 1 plus 2 is 3, so this ends up being 3 over 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And these are the coordinates of our midpoint. So if you were to label the point here, it would be labeled as 3 halves for x. 3 for y, and that's reasonable, and then lastly, 4 for z. Okay? And that is the procedure. That's how you find the midpoint of a segment in three dimensions. Thank you for watching.